Hello and welcome to High Caliber TV, or Source 4 Figure and Model Updates every Wednesday and Friday. So, as you can see, I'm working on the stowage for the back of the Abrams, the bustle racks and things like that. I've got a bunch of Meng stuff. This is actually a combination of the Legend, Tamiya, and Meng water uh, jerry can sort of things. And I've just crazy glued them all together and I'm detailing them up. None of these things have really a whole lot of detail except for the interceptor here which is basically ready to go. The green, all the green stuff has been given a run with uh, Citadel Shade. Now, this is a, the, the green one, the green shade, and it if you put it over a flat surface, it'll give it depth, and it just runs into all the, the cracks and stuff, but it's it's like it the name suggests, it's translucent, so, it's akin to a wash, but you can also apply it over a large surface, like with the interceptor vest. Everything, it sort of just blends everything together, and it's like a filter, or as they call it, a shade. So I'd highly recommend you give one of these a try, if you can find them. They come in red and sepia as well, I think. So there's a couple of applications. As you can see, on something like this uh, sort of general purpose, sack from legend the shade blended in well and gave some rudimentary shadows after the dry brushing was done this piece is actually basically complete except for the inevitable weathering which will be applied via either vallejo or life color pigments i have yet to decide which one i'm going to go with all i can say is that they're both going to get thinned with the ming thinner and then I'm going to apply them generally over everything. Every piece of referential material that I see from Iraq, everything just gets absolutely coated in dust. No matter how light the coating may be, it touches everything, especially if it's on the bustle racks on the back of an Abrams. So everything from these very colorful things, it's just going to sink into all the cracks. I'm not sure how happy I am with the color on these which is why they're going to get, they've had some edge highlighting done to them, just a little bit of subtle stuff, but I'm really looking forward to dirtying them up and subduing the colors, especially with things like the ammo tins. They're going to get some edge highlighting, and then over top of that, I'm going to give them the, the, the general wash of the filter, and then some extra pastel work if it's necessary over top of that. And then I get the fun task of deciding how it's all going to fit. I've done up a whole bunch of extra stuff here, and this isn't actually the complete group of stuff. There is some extra little tins and things like this. This is from a hobby fan kit, and they've got the straps on the back here. This is a resin part, but with the dry brushing and the shade, it turned out really well, actually. There's a lot of variation, and this is all just done by hand. So yeah, Meng has a new kit coming out that is personal stowage. It's all injection, and if you can find that, I highly recommend you get it. I haven't gotten my hands on it yet, but I'm looking forward to grabbing that for the Meng Bradley, which Alan was very generous. Uh, he had that in his stash, and he decided that it wasn't going to go onto his to-do pile anytime soon, so... Look forward to seeing that on this channel in the next coming months, but more on that later, obviously. So yeah, this is just how I've been doing them on this, this sort of rack here, and just a bit of, as you can see, some wall tack, and then use that for spraying all the green stuff down, hosing everything down, just sort of mass producing the ammo tins and things like that. So yeah. So far, this stuff has come along really well, and I'm really excited to crack on with the Abrams. So yeah, oh yeah, uh, my apologies for not having any videos out last week. I was really busy getting everything prepped for IPMS Edmonton, which was a success. We had a great time, Alan and I, meeting everybody who was there, who, uh, who got a chance to stop by the booth. So thanks everyone for you know saying hello and uh, coming to the shop. 
And a special thank you to Ron Volstead and Anthony Sewards for saying hello and taking the time to chat with us. We're really excited about some future prospects with Mr. Sewards and just for meeting my personal idol, Ron Volstead. I've still got one of his signed prints Alan got for me way back in the 90s hanging on Alan's workbench wall. So yeah, that was really cool and unexpected. So we've, yeah, we're back and now progress can continue on the Abrams. So check us out at highcaliberminiatures.com. Links in the description as always. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you next time.